It's a new day. This is New Day Northwest. Now, here's Margaret Larson. All right, so coming much. up, there's been a lot of talk in Seattle about the tech boom's effect on affordable housing and the city's character. After the break, we're going to find out what one community organization is doing to use the city's tech force to bring us all closer together. Back after this. Many questions have been raised recently about Seattle's tech boom and the effect on the city's character and the limited supply of affordable housing. Over the last few weeks, a local nonprofit news source called Crosscut held a public idea contest to create ways technology can bring our community together rather than divide it. Joining us today is the managing editor of Crosscut News, Barrett Anderson, as well as the winner of the Community Idea Lab, entrepreneur in residence at the Technology Access Foundation, David Harris. Glad to have you both. Excuse me, sweetie. Sorry about that. Let's talk about how you identified this problem in the Seattle area, first of all. Yeah, so, I mean, I think we've seen a lot of problems play out in San Francisco over the last year uh, with their tech boom. They've seen intense income inequality. Teachers can't afford to live in the city anymore. And there's a lot of animosity between the tech community there and the social services community and those who've been living in the city for a long time. So we looked at Seattle and we saw some really similar trends happening here. Mm -hmm. we've, we've seen um, Amazon redeveloping South Lake Union, tons of people moving in to work at Amazon. And Google is adding jobs here. Facebook is adding jobs here as well as we have a huge biotech industry we're leading in the gaming industry. I mean, we've got space travel, tech companies. So, so there's a lot going on here, and it's really exciting. Um, but it also brings people in right, right. with good salaries, raises the price right. of all of the real estate, and, and actually pushes some people out of neighborhoods yeah, in some cases. Yeah, and we've seen that in Seattle um, just starting to happen over the last couple of months. Rent is really going up. Um, and we thought that, you know, as a city, we can actually, we're at a place where, as opposed to San Francisco, we can actually do things to avoid that. Yeah, let's mitigate so. it. So you came up with the idea of a contest to draw some ideas together, and it was actually your idea, right? Yeah, yeah. So what, how did it come to you? So um, I was working in a coffee shop one weekend just thinking about, you know, what should Crosscut be doing next? And how can we think about journalism in a really different way mm -hmm. than other news organizations? And I, I like to think, um, you know, there are a lot of news organizations that report on things after they happen. Um, but at that point, it's too late if you're facing a problem. You know, they're already in place, and as we've seen in San Francisco. So what we tried to do was to report on this issue in a way that would let us address it at the same time that we were covering it. So we wrote about it for about four weeks ahead of time. We wrote about what factors affect housing prices in Seattle and the Seattle area. We wrote about the culture of Seattle. We wrote about how different companies think about engaging with the community. Um, and then we opened it up to a public idea contest and let anyone submit an idea for how to avoid avoid that and how actually how to use our tech uh, boom as an asset to improve inequality and um, to mitigate the problems exactly, that we're seeing and improve elsewhere. engagement really for, within those communities. Which is just such a great idea and this is where David comes in because voila you won. Congratulations. Yes, thank you. It's always good to be the one with the best idea, right? <laughs> so tell me what you came up with. Well, my idea was to have a, a hackathon in the central district of And what Seattle. does that mean, a hackathon? A hackathon is, is kind of like an entrepreneurial jam session. So, but instead of having musicians and vocalists and instruments, you have designers and laptops and developers. And they're doing things that I will never understand. <laughs> and so during that kind of an event, what are you hoping will come out of it to solve the problems that Barrett has talked about? Yeah, well, the main thing is I wanted to find a way to have more collaboration between uh, Seattle's tech, uh, tech community and our African American community um, in the central area of Seattle. And I participated in a hackathon uh, in May, and it was awesome to see people who are not techie at all uh, combining ideas with developers and creating these wonderful products. That sounds great. I mean, it sounds great to have these two communities finally talking to each other and figuring out how to work together instead of what would otherwise naturally happen, a divide and misunderstanding. What kinds of ideas came out of the hackathon you attended that you could give us as an example? Well, one really cool one was uh, and actually an 11-year-old proposed an idea to have a video game where kids could learn to code while they're playing the video game. And they took first fly prize at that. I love that hackathon. idea. Yeah. Plus, yeah, they have those magic thumbs at that age. They can do anything. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think we ought to do about this problem as we move forward? Well, as we move forward, um, we should have more discussion and open it up to the community to talk about 
ways that we can engage each other. And I think the hackathon uh, is one of those things where we can bring people together and um, start to have real conversations and actually do things that come out of it. How can we participate in that? Well, if you go to hackthecd.org, H-A-C-K dot O-R-G, uh, you can get involved there and sign up. That sounds like a wonderful event. Barrett, I am interested also in what Crosscut is doing because you guys are launching into the next right. kind of platform of journalism, um, these early identification of problems, uh, advocacy of, of collaboration and thinking and involving the community. Tell me a bit about where you see Crosscut going. Well, we're really trying to create a way for normal people who have great ideas to get those ideas recognized by people who are politicians or in positions of power or leading organizations. And so this is just the first problem that we'll be tackling. We'll be doing two more of these in the next year that we'll be tackling different problems. Do you but know we'll, what they are yet? Uh, we're still working on figuring, figuring that out. We're really looking for problems that are w what we see as, you know, the most pressing issues facing the Northwest. Okay. So, and I know David had the best idea, but I'm sure the other ideas were pretty good. Are there a couple that come to mind yeah, that you can share with Yeah, there's some great us? ones. Um, there was one that, uh, so one woman actually recommended Inve creating an investment fund where you would get a, a small return relative to your av your normal investment in the stock market or something. It would be smaller, but you would be creating affordable housing in your neighborhood. Mm -hmm. um, so leveraging all of that wealth into something that right. really improves the neighborhood. And, and I think socially it, responsible investment. In Seattle, I mean, our biggest problem, we have actually a lot of housing units coming online, but really our biggest problem is the segregation of these communities because so many tech employees, you know, they work and they work out and they eat in, in the same place and they don't necessarily get out into the community. Um, and I think Seattle as a city and the region it's in general uh, really, you know, we miss out on their smarts and th their way of thinking and they yeah. miss out on kind of the community and the culture of Seattle. And we so. all do when we yeah. get you know, kind of cordoned off into our own neighborhoods or our own, our own group. So I appreciate you reminding us that we need to get out and meet our neighbors and participate in making the community better. David, thank you very much and congratulations. We appreciate it. For more information about Crosscut and David's winning idea, please head over to our website. We've posted a link also to a thought-provoking article recently published in Seattle Magazine about the effects of Seattle's tech boom. We hope you'll check that out as well. When we come back...